mine Bad bitches, every city in my tribe uh, look, 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 look behind Booty dominate the world, peaches ripe Hey, Kenzie You're welcome Yeah, I like agree with all your points Um, I do want to talk about the abortion thing Pro-choice Okay um, so I am life, and so honestly, I've just yeah. I think I debated you on Will's life. Yeah, a long yeah. That was a while ago. That was the first time I'd ever yeah. done that. So I'm still like, you know, getting used to talking about it. But I I feel a lot more comfortable now. Okay, where did you want to start? Um, I think your big argument was bodily autonomy, if I recall correctly. <clears throat> um, well, yeah, ultimately, I don't think that uh, people with the capacity of a pregnancy have the obligation to sustain said pregnancy. And what, what was your stance on, like, how did you ground that? Um, I, I would just argue that the fetus or embryo does not have rights to your body. And, and why do you believe they don't have rights to your body? I think we can see that um, intuitively in a lot of different ways. Like if I needed a kidney, I wouldn't have the right just to take yours. Okay, and so... We don't force people to donate blood. We don't force people to donate bone marrow. But this isn't this isn't someone taking something. This is um, like the fetus is exactly where it's supposed to be, which is in the uterus. Uh, I would disagree. I mean, I, I don't think there's like a supposed to be. So what do, what do you That's mean? That's when I could argue like cancer is where it's supposed to be. No. No. Cancer is not, cancer is, um, what's it called? I can't, like a fetus is supposed to be in a uterus, right? Like that's. Biologically, that's yeah, what happens. Again, I, I, argue, I do not agree. It's like a, there's a but supposed to not, be. Cancer is not supposed like, cancer is a, um, I mean, I can't think of the word. And also, I'm, a, I'm on lunch right now, so I, like in 10 minutes, I, I am going to have to get off. Okay. Um, I just think like cancer would be seen as an intruder, whereas like a child is not an intruder. Um, if the pregnant person doesn't want them there, I would argue that they are. Even though biologically, like, I see, I don't understand your argument. Like, that's not where they're supposed to be. I don't understand. Like, how do you, how are you supporting that? Uh, well, just because, like, your organ has a specific function does not mean that you have to allow it to do that function. I would also argue that the uterus and endocrine system serves other functions and not just reproduction. If we look at like the process of an embryo actually implanting into the uterine wall, it is very much a parasitic one. Say that, say that again, I'm sorry. If we look at the biological process of an embryo implanting into the uterine wall, it is very, uh, it is a parasitic one. A parasitic one? Mm-hmm. Explain. Um, so when an embryo is traveling down the fallopian tube, it does have uh, essentially a ring around it, which is designed to hide it from the immune system because the immune system would recognize it as a foreign object and then expel it. Then when it does get to the uterus, if it happens to find a space that it can implant on, it actually exerts what is like a phalange and embeds into the wall. And then it grows its own feeding organ, which is the placenta. So just like pa parasites burrow in and begin feeding and leaching off the host, the embryo does the same thing. And I, I think you're going to have a hard time establishing supposed to, because uh, if we look at embryos, uh, like eggs that are fertilized, uh, between 40 and 70 percent don't implant into the uterine wall. So like probability is that it would supposed to like miscarry or I guess it wouldn't miscarry. It would just expel because the person yeah. is never pregnant. Right. Okay. I see. I see. I see your argument there and I see the supposed to be, I do also understand how an embryo can be compared to a parasite. Um, thanks to your, you know, 
biological explanation. Um, however, I do believe that the relationship between parent and child is innately different than like somebody, an ex stranger, like that needs your kidney or something like that. I think there's an obligation to care for the child that is temporarily in your um, placed in your care. Well, what is a parent? In this situation, it's the biological parent, the person who's carrying the child. So adoptive and parents the, aren't parents? No, they're parents. I said in this specific So what situation, makes someone a parent? Um, responsibility to care for a child. Okay, so a pregnant person just doesn't have to opt into that responsibility. So you're All they would have to so declare is I'm not a parent. I think if there's a child, so if there's a child in that is placed with you, then you have the responsibility to care for that child. Um, I'm sure you would agree that there are limits, like like someone in the comments just said, is a babysitter a parent? Would they have this obligation to? Um, and then I think you would need to establish too that that uh, obligation um, includes pregnancy, because like, do, do you think? Um, that being a parent, like, you would be obligated to give your, or I should say legally forced, uh, to give your child blood, bone marrow, an organ, so on and so forth? Mm. No. Okay. Then, then why do you have I, that requirement in utero? Like I think the big utero? difference with that is, like, if you don't give your child a blood or an organ the like you're still hoping the child survives like if the child survives that's still like a successful whatever happened procedure and what if they don't survive then it's then it's a failure but in abortion it's right opposite. should they it, should they have legal consequences if the child dies no because they're not doing something directly to take the child's life well they are by depriving it that's not that's not a direct action that because there's actions that you could take to still sustain the child's life. Um, if you're not aware of those actions, like I'm sure you would agree if I were to put all my food in a pantry and lock the door and deny my son, deprive him of food and he starved to death, that that would constitute legal consequences. Yes. Right. So you agree there are some cases where deprivation causes death that should be legally punished and then you're saying there are cases that deprivation should not cause legal consequences i think in the, so in, so i don't think your whole letting it die versus killing it is is an actual argument because you you do think people should be punished for letting someone die to, due to deprivation yeah due to the parent not fulfilling their obligation to care for the child Right, so you recognize that they did not do that in terms of food and they should be legally obligated, but you said there should be no, or they should be legal, suffer legal consequences, but you said they should not suffer legal consequences for depriving them of biological sustenance. Because there's other systems in place in which the child could hopefully still live. If you lock the pantry door, there's not another system in place unless, you know. Sure there is. The child could find food on their own. They could go to a neighbor. If you allow, like, yeah, if you allow them to go to a neighbor for food, then yeah, I guess. Well, I mean, we just saw that vlogger lady, one of her children, just escaped and asked the neighbor for food and water. But but your whole um, your whole point is that there is a difference between letting die and directly killing it. And there is no difference for you because there are examples where parents let their children die by depriving them that you think should face legal consequence. Mm -hmm. mm. I still think, I think that for the nine months that you're pregnant, that you hold the obligation to sustain that human life because what? it's a unique, 
because it's a human life and it should be well, a protected that's true vessel. outside the womb i'm sorry that's true outside the womb and you don't hold that obligation what do you mean you don't hold that obligation you said that the parent doesn't have an obligation to give blood bone marrow kidneys in order to sustain it so um what you just said in the womb is true outside the womb yet for one um i don't inside the womb were. you think they have an obligation to give biological um sustenance but outside you don't I mean, I do, obviously, I think everyone would agree a parent should give their child blood if they need blood, right? Like, that's... Right, but should they le be legally obligated to? Because I, your argument is they should be legally like, obligated like, to sustain like pregnancy, correct? There, so I feel like it would be hard to make that a legal obligation. Well, why is that an overreach, but pregnancy is not? Because one is about sustaining a life and one's about taking a life. You, we already went over that. You don't really care I know, about I that. I know, I know. But I do. But that's, I mean, no, that's you, good. you don't. <laughs> there, there's no, like, meaningful difference that you can point to. Because, again, it's just about deprivation. And you agree there are instances where deprivation should suffer legal consequences. Yeah, but that's, is, is the deprivation... This, this isn't not like removing a fetus from a uterus isn't deprivation. That's that's intentionally killing. It, it is deprivation because you are depriving it of your uterus and sustenance, which is why it dies. She's because killing. if I uh, remove the uh, fetus at like 35 weeks, it, it doesn't die. The whole point, the whole point is to not have a baby anymore. It's to kill a baby. That's the whole point. It's to terminate like a pregnancy. If the baby doesn't die, that's a, failed, that's a failed abortion. It's not. It's to terminate a pregnancy. That is the it's purpose to, of abortion. Which is killing a baby. Terminating a present no, pregnancy. No, not, not in all cases. Um, I would define abortion as just deliberate termination of pregnancy, which under that there's hysterotomy abortion, there's induction what, abortion. It, I would say the only time it's not is like in like an atopic pregnancy or in a pregnancy where the fetus like there is no the the fetus isn't go, going to become a baby other otherwise it's it's that your whole point is to be without a child to kill the child well i disagree that it's a child but Do you disagree um, that's a human well i mean it has um like homo sapien DNA, but in the, um, if we're going to talk about like the majority of abortions, I don't think it's a person. And I don't think um, abortion in the first trimester harms anyone. Do you not agree that it's, so you said it's human DNA, meaning that this is a unique human that has never been before and, and will never be again? Sure. Um, well, I mean, technically twins have the same DNA but I still consider them unique. So I don't think it's necessarily the DNA that gives them personhood. Actually, I don't think it's DNA that gives you personhood. I mean, do you give like moral consideration to embryos that are frozen in infertility clinics? To embryos that are frozen in infertility clinics? Hey, I actually, I would love to continue this conversation clinics. another time I have to go. Yeah, no I'm, my lunch yep. is ended. Hey, hey, I, actually, I would love to continue this conversation another time I have to go. I'm so fucking cute, bitch.